everybody welcome back today um, in this video we're going to go over taking apart the Transtech Beetle Mini uh, replacing the ESC on it and we are also going to add the sticky EMF blocker ESC noise reducers the first part we're going to get it all taken apart real quick so once you have the canopy with the LEDs on it taken out be careful you don't put too much pressure on that wire and rip that out that goes right on the side of the flight controller here we took off our Cadex Vista I left that all together so you just pop it right back on all you really need to do is just desolder these six pads so we can free the motors up and take the board off of the drone so now we have our wires all desoldered from the ESC here now all we need to do is just flip this over real quick loosen up the bottom of this, this should come right off and disconnect your ESC so now we'll get into actually opening this up and seeing what's inside of it this is the actual trans tech I'm going with the exact replacement that was recommended through race day quads by trans tech hobbies this is the TTR BL Heli S 25 amp it is regulated uh, 3 to 5 S and it's a 20 by 20 mounting bracket hole pattern I'm hoping they haven't done any significant changes to this thing mainly for one reason those wires are extremely short and directly soldered on with the exact amount of length required for them uh, if they move the pads around on this at all, this is going to be a real pain in the butt to try to get soldered back on. Now that's the same thing. So here is our new ESC. comes with the XT30 and two flight controller wires for it see if there's any pertinent information here in the paperwork just gives a couple main specs on it 4321 background motor orientation like I said it is BLLES, the main chip is a BB2, continuous current is 25 amps, burst current goes up to 35 amps at a max for 10 seconds, input voltage 3 to 5S. Caution, read through this user manual before install, ensure wires connected are well insulated before connecting, da 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 da, -da. please solder wires well. Okay, so that's just all the basic stuff we already know. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get the XT60 or I got XT30 wire connected to the um, ESC4 and one here. So first we got the pads all nicely tinned. There we go. Now all I have to do is add on the wire. So now with the XT30 wire connected. To the ESC you want to make sure if you're doing that on this particular build the uh, wire does come out of the bottom so you want to make sure that you flip it over to do it you can see I'm on the bottom that's the top so you're gonna want to have it like that so it can come out and around the rear frame connectors nicely so now I've taken uh, just two of the 
stack supports here. Put them on. Uh, we're going to get ready to re-solder on the wires. First I'm going to go ahead and thin them all and then I'm going to add the wires from the motors back to it. So now we have that step done. Went ahead and tinned all the pads. This thing to focus here. It's about as good as it's going to go. Nice little shiny dots. Not gray. That's the way you want them to be. Alright, next part is connect the motors. So now we have all our motors reconnected to the ESC. As you can see on the front though, I mean those wires are like directly like it could have you know ran them maybe around here. If you have an issue with them being too tight going this way, you probably could have ran them around the inside and got a couple extra, you know, millimeters of room or whatever. But I wanted to leave them right where they were. I liked them like that. Um, on the side, for the back motors, you just take the size of a pair of tweezers or something like that. And then just run the motors, wires, just right up under the side of it. That way they're not hanging out. Like so, keep them out of the way. Alright, so now I'm going to take and put this little guy back together. Okay, we were going to use these noise canceling uh, pads here. Um, I am not going to do that though. The way that they reduce the sound is by going over or under um, the ESCs to prevent the noise come from coming out and going into the flight controller or whatnot. Um, these, you ever go to use these, are conductive. So, unless your motors are pre shrink wrapped or protected or anything like that, before you put that on, you turn that on, those things are going to pop, they're going to fry. So I am not going to use this as of right now. Also, the flight controller is next to it. So I don't really see it creating that much of a barrier for doing anything. We're going to get back to putting the quad back together. So I got the Beetle Mini all back together. Everything's good to go. I did forget to reattach the LED strip. There we go. So just make sure that nothing is touching. There's no connections that don't need to be connected anywhere. Just gonna double check that. Very short beep right there. And only one. I'm also gonna double check on the pads. You got more room back here oh, short put all right real quick in and out that should be good all right now I'll find a battery and get her powered up all right now for the final test got a little battery here go ahead and hook it on up make sure that nothing goes crazy Boom. Good to go. Alright, now I'm just going to take and double check it in beta flight real quick and make sure there's no issues with it there. Alright, so here we are in beta flight. Got this hooked up for the first time. Set up. Now my flight controller is a little not in the thing for a minute because I had to double check something was getting an error. I really didn't need to tear it all the way back apart, but I just I wanted to go back through and I switched out the old wire from the flight controller to the ESC with the new one. Um, it did take a beating. I didn't want to take any chances of any shorts or anything like that. And then if something was wrong, I have to do it later. I just got it out of the way now. So going through here, everything seems to be okay. 
and my settings are a little low but I've never really done much with this quad except for crash it a long time ago go through here now that's not good this here this error that's not gonna work out so that's something different um ooh LED strips sweet modes and orientation and color black box no logging it's fine CLI tab build done all right uh, motors though here um, this this is not good as I was talking about this um, that's gotta be in the configuration I noticed something we we're going through here I tried messing with my other trans tech beetle um, I wanted to do this now I haven't done anything to this and this came fresh out of the box with bi-directional D shot on it activated um, so the RPM filtering and everything like that that does not actually uh, supported for the the lower quads that's more for like the five inches and on up um, the, the the smaller whoops like this this is not a thing so why they came like that I mean you can't they do have larger quads with 20 by 20 stacks but if you want to take and you want this to go away and you want to fly your quad you're gonna have to come back to the configuration tab you're gonna have to take you're gonna have to turn this off save and reboot come back to configuration make sure it stayed it did stay now we go back to motors that will not be there now that is gone so I'm going to plug in a battery here real quick. I should hear all of the flight controller sounds now. I did notice there was only three when I first started it up, which meant something was wrong with the ESCs. I just wasn't paying attention. But here we go. There we go. That's exactly how it should sound. Okay, now as you can also see, there are no motor errors here. I understand the risks. Oh, trust me, I understand. I've dealt with them. Um, I'm going to just click on the motor tabs once and I'm going to work my way up with it. And back down. Alright, motors work. And that's good to go. So, if you want to do the RPM filtering for this, uh, you actually have to pay licensing through JSEC and get it per motor. I think you can get a pack of four of them for this. Um, if this is the one with the H notation in the middle of the code of it, for right around uh, $6, it's like $1.50 per ESC. Nothing crazy. But taking this to the step of where I wanted to go today, just changing it out. There it is. The ESC is changed on the TransTech Beetle. So with everything all laid out here, we have our CADX Vista hooked to the flight controller, hooked to the ESCs. I'm going to plug this in. Um, earlier we did get a different reading on this, um, but I just covered that in software. So this is at the end of the video. I just want to change this. Uh, you have to turn off the bidirectional D-shot command for your configuration and your ESCs. And as you can see now, that is the correct way that this should go. Alright, well, thank you for watching. Um, that will be the end of this video. I'll have another one up soon.